So what can we do to protect water ecosystems? Anyone, no matter how old they are, can help protect water ecosystems and help ensure communities everywhere have access to clean water. So what can we do to help protect water ecosystems? One of the simplest things we can do is re reduce the amount of pollution in rivers, lakes, and oceans. How do we do this? We can start by reducing the amount of plastic we use. Earlier, we spoke about how much of the pollution in rivers, oceans, and lakes is from plastic things like bottles and food wrappers. If we use less of these items, we can ensure they won't end up in rivers, lakes, or oceans. We can use less plastic by using reusable bottles, containers, and wrapping for our food and drinks. If we end up buying something that comes wrapped in plastic or in a plastic bottle, we can make sure to reuse it. There are many ways to use your creativity to reuse a plastic item. For example, you can grow plants in plastic bottles, or use plastic bottles to store fresh juice that you can make with your parents or carers. You can also reduce the amount of plastic in rivers by going litter picking along rivers. Litter picking is a great way to make sure rivers can stay clean so that fish and animals like otters and tiny little minks are safe and happy. Make sure you go with an adult. To reduce pollution, you can make sure you don't contribute to fat burns. So, how do we do this? Well, when you're cooking with an adult, make sure they don't pour oil down the sink. And you can make sure you don't flush wet wipes down the loo. Try to put all food waste in the food recycling or compost bin instead of letting it go down the drain while you are washing dishes. You can ask the government to help you, your community, and others. In the UK, you can write to your local council or the Environment Agency if you are concerned with pollution in a river or lake near you or in your community. As I mentioned, people across the world have unequal access to clean water. You can help these people by starting petitions to get governments to help, or by fundraising to support local communities to keep their water systems clean if governments won't help them. We can also work to conserve water by trying to save water and energy. Less than 2.5% of all water is fresh water, or water that we can drink. As the climate is getting hotter, our water cycle is becoming unpredictable. Sometimes we get lots of rain in a real downpour or flood, and sometimes we don't get enough. In the UK, there is expected to be a lot less summer rainfall as the climate crisis worsens. We need to really look after and save our water as we cannot be sure how this will affect water supply. Currently, over 2 billion people in 40 countries experience water shortages. Some areas in the UK, like the south and east of England, are already under something called water stress, which is when demand for water is high compared to how much water is available. Because of this, we need to be aware of how much water we're using and try and use less. Water companies also use lots of energy to clean our water so that we can use it. When we use energy, often we release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, which contributes to the climate crisis and affects water systems. If we try and use less water, we're also using less energy. This can also save us money. So here are some tips on using less water and energy. You can take short showers instead of baths whenever possible. This way, we aren't using up too much water. We can also take shallow baths instead of filling up the bathtub all the way to the top. This way we can still enjoy a nice relaxing bath while using less water. We can use cold water rather than hot water when we can. It takes energy to heat up water, so if we use cold water rather than hot water, we are using less energy. We can ask our parents and carers to make sure washing machines and dishwashers are full before using them so that we can use them less and, consequently, use less water. We can water plants in the garden with a watering can and not a hose pipe. This saves lots of water. We can keep an eye out for leaky loos. So does your toilet make a lot of noise? Investigate with your parents or carers. Leaky loos are one of the main causes of water waste in homes in the UK. We can make sure to turn off taps while brushing our teeth or when they're not in use. And lastly, another thing you can do is to think about what you eat. Some foods, like beef and rice, require lots of water to produce. Eating these foods occasionally, instead of all the time, can help us conserve water. 
Talk to your parents or carers to see if this is possible. Even if you can't make changes right away, it's always helpful to be mindful. Let's start following these tips today so we can ensure a healthy planet and healthy water ecosystem.